All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. We are out in Kalispell, Montana. So we are back from the great state of Utah, which was a fantastic trip. We are going camping with someone that you guys have definitely seen on the channel before and a really great friend of mine, Blake BZ Shop. And he recently also just picked up a Super Pacific as well. So now we are a Two Tribe Super Pacific Army. Both had GFCs in the past. And yeah, so it should be a great little trip. We are heading to the grocery store. We have to get some fuel as well to fill up. And then we will be starting our little adventure. Should be going up a road called Red Meadow Creek, which is outside of Kalispell, Columbia Falls here. Really don't know what we're going to run into. Basically don't know how the snow level is. Right now there's nothing in Kalispell. But once you start getting out of town, the snow does start to get a little bit deeper. So yeah, tag along. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll be doing some talking, some demo of some new stuff and new gear that I have. And then we'll also be doing some ASMR content. So hope you guys enjoy and see you along the way. All right, guys, we found a amazing spot here near Blankenship Bridge, which is not too far out of Kalispell. And this spot, especially in the summertime, they call it, I believe, like the van retreat because everyone that comes here in the summer months with their van parks along this beach. It's incredible though right here. Um, we've got Blake. He's got his Super Pacific open right now. Just open mine. We've got the awnings open as well. Uh, I haven't opened my awning for a while, so it's probably a good thing that I opened it today just to air it out. Was a little bit of moisture in there from last time we used it. And yeah, this view is like incredible. I mean, it's awesome. So it is pretty early in the day still. It is 2.52, so we've got quite a bit of sunlight left for the day. Probably just going to enjoy it, relax, and mess with some things on the truck and get some shots for you guys so hopefully you enjoy this video hope you hopefully you enjoy the great views and scenery that we have the river is stunning i'm going to try to capture the blue tent for you I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but it is incredible so 
Thanks for tagging along. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. fitness for a little bit. Yeah. But I think we did a lot. Light him up. All right, guys, we are making pizzas tonight in the Dutch ovens. We have all the ingredients here. So this is just the Pillsbury pizza crust. Well, where are you going, Ash? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what type of pizzas are we making here, Ashley? We are doing a Hawaiian and then a meat lovers, I guess you could say. Okay. Yeah. So we have some other ingredients. We've got pepperoni. We've got the mozzarella from Costco. I might cook this up. I think we probably will. This is wild game. This is elk sausage. Why not? And then we have pineapple, more pepperoni, and then we're gonna shred some fresh Parmesan. And don't worry, we have broccoli well. on the side. Yeah, because we're, we're gotta healthy be healthy. here. So uh, I've also got this. This is good. This is good shit. But this you'll is, probably hammer that yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna have that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make those. And we've got the setup over here from Steadfast Systems, MKC, super nice. Spray. Thank you. Was there you go. So a tip when making stuff in the Dutch ovens, what normally happens with a lot of people is they torch the bottom. So the bottom of whatever they are cooking, whether it's pizza, cinnamon rolls, um, any other dessert is that the bottom gets torched because people are cooking the bottom for too long versus the top. So a good little tip that I have reminded myself of is cooking the top portion of whatever it is in the Dutch oven for two to three times longer than what you are cooking the bottom. So for tonight when we're cooking these pizzas, we're going to kind of cook the bottom a little bit at first and then toss some hot coals on the top and cook the top and pull, probably pull it off the fire for a little bit check it see how it goes and actually is struggling <laughs> as you can tell pizza dough right now Pizzas are ready. That's what we're working with. And just ended up doing two of the same exact ones. So, there's this one too.
perfect. And then uh, put some hot coals on top and it should be good. Uh-oh. Small is on fire. What? Small oh. is on fire. <laughs> doesn't care about your marshmallows. <laughs> Sorry? I guess you're the expert now, so I shouldn't even... What? Me? Yeah. Alright guys, show you a glimpse of what these pizzas are looking like. Boom! It's recording, so you're good. Just hold it. Okay. Can you get close? All right, guys, here's pizza number one. That one is looking good. We got pizza number two. And pizza number two. Looking bougie. Perfect. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what you. What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to cut it in half, but I don't oh want to use the saw. That's what the cavemen used to do. How do we turn this off, Hunter? <laughs> it might be hot, Ash. It is. Yeah. Um, okay, I hope. Matt, you gotta move. Back. <laughs> oh, the pizza. Sure is a fine looking pizza. Yeah. What's that? Is that the cheese? Yeah. And the pepperoni? Yeah. Oh, looks good, huh? Uh, it's a pizza, pizza for you and me. Pizza. Uh, we gotta do the other one. Yeah, I know. Grab it. Whip, whip. I need whip, your whip, help. Whip, whip. Snap, snap. That one probably won't be as hot. Oh. Crispy. I guess it was just ours all though. Oh my gosh. Oh. You just eat it like that? Oh. Just go for it. My Hunter. gosh. <laughs> now we'll cut it one more time. We'll cut it in the force. Whatever. How's that pizza? Mm. It is a crusty crab pizza. It mm. is crusty crab pizza. There's your dog hair. What's your name? That's protein. Uh, protein? If this, this has got to be a crusty crab pizza because it's for me and you.
All right, guys, so this is the seed to summit. We have the kettle and then two cups in here as well. So these are super cool. They pop out and get bigger. And then so does the kettle here. So we just push this, collapses, and then expands, which is awesome. guys we are trying out some new gear as well from Sea to Summit. This is their Tanami, I believe that's how you pronounce it, 45 degree down quilt. So we're going to be sleeping with that tonight up here as well. And then we have the old traditional Hest pillows. These are the standard size. Love these things. Then we also have the uh, Aeronaut as well, which is a fantastic product. So um, the reason why I love the Aeronaut, and then we have this quilt from Sea to Summit, and the Hess pillows are because they are small, they're compact, super comfortable, both of those extremely warm, and then these Hess pillows are phenomenal to sleep with. It's really cool because they got the covers, and then open it up. We'll do that real quick. You can just open this up and they basically fold on the inside of each other. So those are fantastic. Keeps them clean so they don't get dirty. And yeah, that is that. Super Pacific standing up. We've got all this space. So as you can see, 
space. Odie. Yeah, sweet. Then we got the DC meter right down there. All right, guys, good morning. Uh, it is just about sunrise here. Slept amazing. Odie, did you sleep good? Odie slept good, too. Uh, yeah, we went to bed probably around 10 o'clock last night, 10.30. And diesel heaters ran all night, which is fantastic. And yeah, just enjoying this. There was an eagle that was possibly fishing or scouting down here on the river. I just was unable to capture him with the 200 to 600, but it would have been sick because he was swooping pretty low on the water here. And it would have been really awesome to see him grab something out of the water, but I'm gonna grab it. So we're gonna make some coffee here in a second. Uh, it's not too cold. It's probably like 30, 35, right around there. But yeah, we're gonna make some coffee here. I'm gonna enjoy the river just for a little bit and then pack up and head out. Right, so we are using the Outen. This is their portable espresso maker, once again. How this works is you can use pods or you can use freshly ground coffee in this device. So this is the device or the option that you can use the portable coffee or the groundable coffee in. So we ground it with the vessel here as you can see boom boom we're gonna dump some of that in here and I ground way too much nothing new there take this little piece here squish it down In, pop that in there, screw this in. We're just going to add a little bit of water. Hold that down, and then it starts.
And there's your espresso shots right in there.